All right, everybody, we are super excited today to bring you this awesome interview with um, a wonderful applicant named Chanel. Chanel, say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Not forced at all. So staged. I'm sorry. It's the, worst. the intro is no. the worst part of these interviews. Um, it, really, it can be nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you're, you're totally good. So um, what I wanted to have you do is go ahead and first start off, tell people who you are. And then we'll get into all the good news of what's happened with your application and everything like that. So just tell us a little bit about you. Okay, perfect. Well, um, hi again, everyone. My name is Chanel Katunau. I was, um, I'm actually a, um, a grad student. I just graduated at Cal State San Marino in 2019 of December. Um, I was born and raised from a very small island in the Pacific. Um, it is called Guam. It's a U.S. territory. And I just came to California um, within the last four or five years just to finish my bachelor's here. And since then, I've applied to physical therapy programs and I just recently got accepted. So that's, <laughs> that's my whole story so the dream far. Is done. Yeah, that's it. That's your life in a nutshell, huh? There yes. you go. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome. Very cool. So um, talk to me more about Guam. Oh, uh, Guam. Well, it's a, um, it's a really beautiful island. It's very, very small. You can literally drive around the whole entire island within um, an hour and a half or two. Um, but with a speed limit of 45 miles per hour. Um, so it's, it's very small. So think of Hawaii, but just smaller. Um, but I love my island. I love my community. Um, it's a very close knit community. But, um, you know, one of the reasons why I did leave was because of the lack of opportunities offered to Pacific Islanders. Um, so in order to fulfill my dream of becoming a physical therapy, I had to leave because there wasn't really any um, education for it. So um, leaving was one of the toughest parts, but one of the main reasons why I had to leave was because in order to come back, um, I wanted to fulfill my doctorate to physical therapy and come back and give back to my island because there isn't a lot of physical therapy clinics. There aren't a lot of um, female physical therapy, uh, physical therapist, sorry. Um, so that's, you know, that's mainly the reason why I left and want to come back eventually to give back to my community and to be able to, you know, um, probably educate more locals and more Pacific Islanders about uh, physical therapy because not a lot of people know about physical therapy on Guam because there isn't a lot of us on there. So right. that's mainly the reason why. Well, that is so cool. And I'm so happy that you, you're you one step closer to fulfilling and satisfying that dream, right? Um, Most definitely. I'm sure when you were on the island and you were like, oh, I want to be a physical, like it seems so far away, right? It, but yeah. now it's like, it's in the palm of your hands, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that's just such a cool feeling to have this dream, put in all this work, all this time, all this energy, and then it pays off. And yes. like, you know. So with that being said, where did you apply and where are we going? Who won your, who won your ultimate heart? Yes. So I've applied to uh, quite a few schools. Um, I applied to Western University of Health Sciences in um, Pomona, California, and in Lebanon, Oregon. Uh, they have two campuses. Um, and then I also applied to um, Cal State University of Northridge. I applied to Midwestern University, both in Arizona and in um, Illinois. Mm. Um, I've also applied to um, University of St. Augustine. Um, I applied to two different campuses in San Marcos and in Dallas, I believe. Um, and then I also applied to Loma Linda University. So those are the schools that I did apply to. And I just uh, got accepted to uh, Loma Linda University. So with that being said, awesome. <laughs> that is where I will be spending the next three years of my life, um, which is at Loma Linda University. So I'm definitely excited. Definitely, definitely extremely excited for that. 
How does it feel to say that? Has that, has the reality of that it's, sunk in? Oh, it really did. I think um, uh, it just, honestly, it was very emotional because this whole entire process of applying to PT school, it, it, it was very stressful, you know, emotionally and mentally because you get that, you know, you get those like negative thoughts in your head you'd be like what if I don't get in what if you know I just wasted all this money um because I wasn't ready or you know you just have so many self-doubts so um most definitely when I got accepted I got I got accepted to my top two schools so within one week so it was just very it just oh. felt <laughs> it felt so exciting and um and very emotional um most entirely because of how this whole year went um 2020 was a very rough year and yeah. so it it just felt amazing it really has so i'm really excited really excited <laughs> well i'm glad you bring that up because i think um there's a there's a podcast i was listening to just recently where they talked about taking a step back and going through like your calendar, your photos, everything from 2020 and making like an inventory of all the stuff that's happened, good, bad, <laughs> you know, across the board. And as I like mentally, I haven't had the opportunity to sit down and like go through the whole thing, but just mm -hmm. sitting down and thinking about it, I was like, you know what, like as, as brutal as the year has been on so many levels, yeah. um, there's been so much good that's happened. Right. And I think yeah. for me, it's been amazing to be a part of a lot of people's, a lot of applicants journeys like you to mm -hmm. see them get into their dream school. Right. Um, yeah. and to, to see them overcome those fears and those doubts and those uncertainties and say, mm -hmm. you know what, I'm going to be brave and I'm going to step into this uncomfortable opportunity and take advantage of it. Right. Yeah. And that looks a bit off. Yes, it did. And it, it's surprising by how you brought that up, uh, like how you go through all the memories from this whole year, just because um, I follow multiple pre-PTs and other physical therapists on Instagram, and I came across um, one of them who actually did like a, um, a recap, you know, and she was very open with like her whole entire life. She, she was posting like how in the beginning it was very rough for her because of COVID and how like her plans to not go as expected so she was struggling but as the year went by she too got accepted to like physical therapy schools and um so it worked out very well and I started looking through my memories too and I was like wow like it was just it's been a rough year and I have you know memories of like the good and bad and as the year continuously went by like as the months went by I looked through my candles going I was like wow it's like it's it's getting better so it definitely started rough but it went by and it went through it ended up being like an amazing year. So I'm really excited. I'm really happy. Um, just because, you know, all of that exhaustion that I went through, it just, it just paid off, honestly. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And I think that sometimes it's more satisfying, like not to knock any other class that's gotten accepted, but I feel like the people who got in during 2020, like you'll never forget that, right? Like I got accepted to PT school. <laughs> during you know for i think for pretty much everybody it's yeah most likely the worst year of most of our lives right um in terms of you know worst and best there's been good mm -hmm. and bad and obviously people have different experiences <clears throat> but um what a cool thing to say to yourself like i overcame this you know like um and and with a lot of other people as well and it's really exciting to see people from all across the country from all different walks of life different yeah. academic backgrounds getting into school um so yeah. super cool most super cool definitely. Um, so why Loma Linda? Oh, yes. So Loma Linda, um, there are many reasons why I chose Loma Linda. Um, one is because I've become acquainted with people who came out of Loma Linda, um, who have become now, you know, professors who I have worked with or, you know, uh, professors who actually taught at Loma Linda. Mm -hmm. And I've also worked with physical therapists who graduated from Loma Linda. So just the person they are, um, just, you know, 
the person that they came out to be. Um, they were very caring. They were, they were very dedicated, um, very dedicated. They, you know, they're very patient and um, they're just very caring people. And so they're basically, you know, the people that I eventually want to become, you know, in this whole healthcare system. Um, so that's one of the reasons. And then another big reason is their, you know, mission to give back to their local communities and globally as well. They have a lot of opportunities and connections um, with other countries, um, just, you know, places that definitely need the help. And so that's something that really resonated with me because, again, you know, I come from an island and um, there's so many um, help that we need uh, so many resources, I should say, the key word, like resources that we need, um, just because not a lot of people know about Guam and, you know, what we have and what we don't have. So um, just to be a part of a university that, you know, works around their whole mission in giving back um, locally and globally is something that I definitely want to be a part of, you know. Um, so the next three years um, was very important for me to be with a university that has the same values and same goals as me. So Loma Linda definitely resonated with me because of that. So that's why I mainly chose Loma Linda. So yeah, yeah I'm very excited. <laughs> no, that's awesome. That's awesome. And I think um, it's just cool, you know, for the, the people watching, um, we, we spoke briefly just before we started recording the interview. Um, just what a cool thing of how people from Loma Linda came to Guam and were helping you when you are like people in your community. Um, and now you get the chance to go back and do the same thing. And yeah, how cool, what a full circle moment that is. And just how, you know, throughout your life, it's kind of been, it's been pointed. This is, this is where you should go type of thing. Yeah, you know? definitely. So that's why I'm very excited. I'm very excited to be a part of the Loma Linda family. And um, also, I do have another surprising news. Um, my cousin is actually going to be in the same class as me. So we no both way. Yeah. So That's it's so cool. So it's a whole PT family, you know. <laughs> We're both from Guam. We're both going to Loma Linda. And we both do, you know, ultimately want to go back to Guam and maybe open our own clinic. Um, so that's something exciting. So I'm well, that excited. sounds awesome to me. I want that to happen. <laughs> Make that happen, please. That would be such a great story. Wow. Yeah. Yes, it would be. So I'm excited to have her by my side, especially because I know how taxing PT can be or PT school can be. So to have, you know, family go through the whole next three years with sure. you, it's just, it's just, you know, it's exciting overall. So. Makes it that much better. Yes, yeah. it does. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about how did you find out about physical therapy application coach? Oh, of course. So um, this year in 2020, the PTCAS, you know, they obviously um, opened up their applications to students a month earlier than usual. Mm -hmm. So I started doing research and I even started ahead of time. Um, I started doing my whole application, but, you know, I had everything ready. Um, but my essay was the main thing that I was stuck on. And so I started doing research on the whole prompt. And then I came across your videos um, on YouTube and like how you talked about the essay prompt. And I basically had, so I basically had a draft. And when I watched, I think it was, um, one of your videos you discussed why you didn't like the essay prompt because students were answering it wrong and when you're explaining it I was like oh no <laughs> that's, that's my me. draft oh, <laughs> so I was like I'm now I have to go back to square one so then that's when I decided um, to continuously look into your other videos and what you offered and so um, I that's when I started reaching out to you because the essay really, really helped me back because for some schools that I applied to, they don't hold interviews. So they basically base you, they based off on, you know, your essay, 
which is the only personable thing about you on your application because you know other than that they look at your GRE scores your GPAs and your extracurricular activities and so they can't really get anything from those but your essay they can so I really wanted my essay to stand out and um, since working with you I've actually have gotten compliments about my essays because um, I don't know if I should talk about the essay just a little bit, but oh, I, for sure, go for it. Yeah, so um, the essay that I worked with you, um, it was very unique from what I've gotten feedback from uh, my interviewers, um, mm -hmm. mainly because one, we talked about Guam, and um, two, we talked about dad jokes. <laughs> So I thoroughly enjoyed dad jokes and we were able to implement a dad joke in there because um, it was about a story how I, you know, uh, wanted to break um, like this barrier between a patient. So I talked about how I opened up with a dad joke one day and it our relationship built off from there. So um, from that and from the interview, um, for example, with Western, I, I said a dad joke when I was getting to know all the faculty members. So they immediately like knew who I was because of that. So it was very, it was very interesting. And um, yeah, it was just, it was really cool how they associated my name with something very personable and very unique because I don't think, you know, not a lot of applicants will have a dad joke in their uh, true. personal essay. So I think that was the uh, only one I had this year. Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that was really awesome. Um, but, you know, I've also worked with, um, you know, pre-PT grind. Um, but there's just different uh, pre-PT, um, like, platforms to help other pre-PTs but for different usages. So this with PT application coach, you know, it definitely helped me um, with my essay and it gave me a lot of confidence, you know, because my story is my story, but just explaining it to other people can be very difficult because I'm very passionate about my story and my why, but in order to, you know, advocate that or, you know, just convey that to other people can be difficult for me because I want them, I want the crowd or the audience, the audience to be able to feel that passion that I feel with my story. So working with you, it most definitely, I was very happy with the outcome and the process as well, because um, when we did our essay, we started um, just talking about my why and my story, and that immediately ignited something that, um, I've been blocking off, I guess, like when I was doing the whole essay on my, by myself, you know, I didn't come up with, I didn't have like stories to refer back to. But when I talked with you, I was like, wow, I do actually have a story to refer back yeah. to, you know. And so this whole process, it was, it was really worth it and very, very meaningful to me um, just because, you know, my story is very important and I want to be able to have other people know my story and feel that passion that I have so it was definitely worth it and I loved the whole process so I'm very thankful for that awesome thank you so much Chanel I really appreciate that because yeah. um, a lot of times like I could give you steps and have yeah. you like okay you could go through this process of writing a good essay and that's what a lot of people do right yeah um, but it takes work to really get to it and to I, I think a lot of what you said it's allowing yourself to be okay to share that yeah um because a lot of applicants i don't know what it is but they they're like i want my essay to be like other people's essay so it's not too different right yeah and you you take what's unique and special about you which you know people are like oh i don't have some crazy skill or some crazy story Tell us about your life experience because your life experience is the only thing that's completely unique to you, right? Most Even definitely. if you've done like shadowing, pre-PT stuff, mm -hmm. your life is completely different than even your cousin who's from Guam. You know what I mean? Like yeah. very different. Um, so that aspect of it is so awesome that you were able to realize that. And that's why I do it. It's to help people be like, to, to have this cathartic experience where they're like, yes, this is why I'm doing this. And I want people to know about it and know yeah. that I like dad jokes. 
you know, yeah. <laughs> different things like that. Like give yourself a license to let your guard down and in an appropriate way, share stuff with people that will help them remember you. Um, Most definitely. And that's the process. And everybody is different. Like, seriously, like your essay was completely different than I've got to be over a hundred and I think over 120 people I work with. Yeah. 120 wow. other people we've done with essays, yeah. right? Like each one has been different. And that's, what's so fun is there's similarities. Like yeah. a lot of people have patient interaction stories, but everyone's different. How you go about it, what what's going on, all this stuff. Um, and that's what makes it special. So thank you so much for, for expounding on that and giving some details there. Of course. Um, one of the last questions I want to ask you, Okay. what advice do you have for future pre-PTs that are coming in? Oh, wow. That's a really good question. Um, one of my, one of my biggest advice, honestly, is to take the initiative to reach out. I think a lot of um, what I've seen and from the people I've networked with a lot of people weren't taking the initiative to actually reach out to the programs, really dig deep into their programs, um, as well as um, asking for help. That was one of the biggest things um, that a lot of you know pre-PTs do not do is asking for help. So I would say start ahead, plan it, um, ask ahead for help. And especially because when you ask for help, you get advices, you get insights about the programs and not only the programs, but the profession, you know, the profession itself. So this is a great time to actually figure out if this is, you know, worth the work, like if this career is worth the work putting into. And if not, and if you go through it and you figure out like, this is not what I want to do, then you've actually saved yourself a lot of time, a lot of money. And so, you know, that's my biggest advice is ask for help, learn the profession, learn about the programs, because that's essentially, you know, going to be the school you'll be connected with for a very long time. Um, so that's my biggest advice for um, all the other three PTs. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. Knowing the place that you actually want to go to, what are the details about it? Um, that's, that's kind of my next big thing this next year mm -hmm. is everyone talks about like, what do I need to do to go to PT school? You need to figure out which programs you really want to go to and then yes. tailor your application to that program. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, like, I didn't do it that way. I, I like, I did all this stuff and then I got to the end and I was like, Oh, I should, I should have done this before. <laughs> but now looking back on it, like all the people who have been really successful, they found programs like you did with Loma Linda, like this fits me perfectly and I'm going to do everything I can to look awesome to this program. Um, and then you fit everything from there. So yeah, that is great. Exactly. Thank you so much for sharing that. Of course. I'm so excited for you in your future journey. Um, we'll have to do you. an update about who knows what the, what you and your cousin are going to do in Guam. Who knows? Most definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, yeah. So I just want to take this time to once again, thank you for all, all that you've done and continuously do. So this has You're been welcome. an amazing <laughs> experience, honestly. So You've made such a great impact in my whole journey in getting to PT school. So this is definitely going to be a memorable one because of the whole struggle that I went through and the whole exhaustion that I experienced. So it's, this is definitely worth it. Most definitely. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Chanel. Best of luck with everything. Have a very happy and successful 2021. Thank you. Same as you. Thank you. <laughs>